Hi, today we're going to be taking an unboxing review look at Robot Series 1 Blind Mystery Cube Bots. It says Series 1 Robots Blind Mystery Cubes. Quit them all for the in Series 1. So here's a sample of a couple to quit, but there is like 40 to quit in Series 1. It's made by Jazzware. And this one's letter O. Notice on top there is little pads on the top. The cube and it does have a little hinge door. So yeah, let's get this open. And tailor it and see who do we get. So what do you get in here? Let's see if I can get the can to focus. Includes one fitter, accessories, collector's checklist, and exclusive virtual item code. And again, Jazzware. And where is it? There's the website for Jazzware and Robots for Slash Toys. So links to the website down below in the description and on the back it is another O uh oh so you kinda have the option of seeing which O you want do you want the O that's closer to the R right here that's kinda like off-centered leaning at an angle or do you want the O that's more straight and even by the L and the X. Just for I point out, this is the uh oh box, so the double O. Smooth O, straight O, <laughs> kind of off centered L and stuff. So let's open up. Who do we get? There is, you know, pet holes on the bottom here. There's a pet right there. Let's see who do we get in here. That's it. So we kind of got this rough and tough guy right here and he actually goes this way there we go so already kind of like Legos in a way they're like Legos slash duple plots meta plots I guess if you want to call it that can you connect with other like Lego duple plot meta plot ones no as you can see there is a slot and a tab in here and there it's a little notch cut so, yeah. And he comes with this little, so I guess it's supposed to be a safari hat. Although the way how it's curved and bent back there kind of looks like a wizard's hat. Now if only it was colored gray, it would be Gandalf the Great. Or Gandalf the Brave. You know, from Lord of the Wings, because it looks more like a Gandalf. The wizard from Lord of the Wings, the way how the hat got this wide flat brim on it. The top of the hat's bent over. <laughs> yeah. But I'm guessing it's supposed to be a safari hat. Now the hat doesn't really want to pet in his head too good. But it does pet in there. And he kind of looks stupid with it on. So here's our little checklist. Let's open it up and see who's all the ones that get in here. Noob 007, Chicken Man, Arizona Newton, doesn't really look like much of anything. Okay. 
Builder Man, Epic Miner, Royal Safari. Royal Safari looks way better. Antimos, 30.89. Quinton, so we have Quinton here. So, yep, that's who we've got in here. Quest and Noob. Mr. Wobot looks pretty good to quit. Um, Tesmas. Fire Band 1. Keith. Girl Guys. I like how they have I did a Wobot default account sub. Kind of characters. Dude 1. Let's make a deal. Officer Zami looks good. New Tuber looks good. Athletic. Louie S. Stip Master Loop. That one looks pretty good. Well, at least the head does. Uh, skateboarder. Shish Sky. Eric Caesar. That one looks awesome. I like that one. Oh, here we have Mr. Brain Bang. Matt Dust. That looks pretty good. Lord Uber How Winton. That one's pretty cool. Sergeant Boy looks cool. Um, Captain Rampage and Tim7775. Regard. So that's what they have in what they're calling the core pats here. In Gamer Pats, there's Wobos High School, so High School Gale, High School Dude, Words at a Pizza Place, Chef and Delivery Boy Guy, Champions of Wobots. All of these look really cool. So you have Kipwats, Death Speaker, Cobot, Mage, Cobot, General, Cobot, Overseer, Red, Cuff, Red Cuff Elite Commander and Alter Knight of the Spirit Ten Skies or Spirit Ten Skies. Yeah, a lot of these names are hard to say. It's like just say Matt Fisherman Chicken Guy. Now they're like 305 Alter Who He Speaks of Lord Guy. It's like just say. Otterman, Temple Knight, made it simple like that, or like 2448 YouTube Man, but they have all these weird and long names. So, let's put the hair off. So, head does rotate all the way around, the arms rotate all the way around. And what I find kind of funny is, if you tailor at it, the hand is kind of nuts, like how uh, the toys are from Minecraft series, which is pretty funny. The leg does go forward, there is a knee bend. Kind of hard to see on this gray fitter, with gray pants, but there's that. You can. <clears throat> bit stiff here but you can pop let's get this bit in there the head the arms I don't know how you do it but I guess you could probably pop the legs out I just don't really want to try with the legs and now you can't pop them out there but as for the whole leg I'm guessing you could pop them out. I'm not really sure about it. I don't want to try the legs, popping the legs off. But I know the head and the hands, you could pop them off. Because, what's well, somewhere in here? Did. Oh, uh, yeah, here. Mitsu match. I do wish Mitsu match parts, but all the showing is just. The arm. <laughs> but 
Yeah. And here's our Redeem exclusive virtual item code. You go to robots.com forward slash toys. So I'm keeping the code for myself. What do you get with the code? I don't know if you get just the hat as an item. Do you get just the guy? Do you get the guy and the hat? I don't know. It would be nice if they had like the whole set like in this box you got Quentin. So you get Quentin with the hat or if it's like oh you just get the guy or oh you just get the hat. Don't know but that's how I do it. So let's put out the other guy. New 007 from the first video. If you haven't seen it go ahead check in the playlist. Check that one out, but I guess the idea was you could swap them around, pop his hand and head off, kind of bits of match them like this. And stuff. Let's pop. So yeah, you can kind of create your own little robots characters like that. But let's get these back to normal. Yes. Uh, one thing that I noticed when you turn the hands off, kind of pull it back, which gives you a little bit more leverage to pop it off. So if you just pop it off like this, it's not going to work that great. So do do that. Just turn towards the bat, and it pops off way easier. There's that, and if we move the other block, close them up, and see what the pet holes is. I'm guessing they're supposed to stay on each other somehow. But line these things up is a twisty, tr tricky pain. Okay, so they do stat, so but they don't actually lock in the greatest. So you could kind of have them off centered, or well, I think they're supposed to. So yes, you can have them off centered, so you could spell like robots where it goes up, down, so like down, up, down, like that. But you really want to have them on a flat surface, and yeah. Like I said, or another one to support. Or you could just do a tower stat. So, like this, to have robots going down like that. And that way it's a little bit better. Let's, let's turn this one around the right way. You can have them open, but only one character could be on there. Due to the clearance space, you know. But yeah. So yeah, that has been the unboxing review of Robots Series 1 Blind Bots Cubes. Remember to wait, subscribe. Not subscribe. Yeah. Remember to wait, subscribe, and leave a comment. Alright, thanks. Bye.